Uh, Coach, uh, 48 hours away from, from kickoff. Uh, how are you guys feeling right now? Uh, everybody uh, healthy and ready to go? Well, we're not healthy, but we're excited. You know, this time of year, nobody's really truly healthy. So uh, we're excited. We're, uh, we're um, feeling like, um, you know, it's getting to the point where it's game day again. And, and so uh, Northwest Missouri State's a great program, great team, and, and all of our guys know how great they are. And so, um, you know, we're excited for the challenge. When you saw the original kind of bracket drawn up, any surprise now to see Northwest Missouri at, at this stage of the tournament? I mean, they're kind of a perennial D2 team, right? Yeah, you know, it's uh, you, you never really, when you look at the bracket, you can't really, you know, you can't assess, you know, how it's going to fall out. So uh, we're just happy to be here with a chance to win a regional championship, and and uh, I'm sure they are as well. You know, uh, they're a great program, and we know that, uh, you know, they, they've been here before. So, uh, and we had, you know, the good fortune to beat them last year. Yeah, this is the, the third time in four years for you against them. Yeah. Do you go back to those old matchups to look for, for tendencies, or do you kind of just focus on their group this year? No, I watch it all. Um, I go back to, uh, you know, just, just look into how the flow of the game went. But uh, in 2016, you know, they, they beat us in the semifinals, and they ended up winning the national championship game going away in that finals. Uh, and then last year, you know, we got a fast start on them, and uh, both, uh, you know, we're one and one. Both teams that played at home won the game. Um, but you know, they're uh, they're definitely a, a great program. They're fun to play against because, uh, you know, we we know how great they are, and and our kids kind of, uh, you know, they they lift some they lift themselves up to greatness typically. So the better the opponent, the better we become. Is this team pretty similar to the team you faced last year? Are there differences, or what are their strengths the, uh, this season? No, they're similar. Um, you know, their uh, their defense is the strength of their team. Uh, it's been for a number of years. Their defensive line is the strength of their defense. Um, just a big physical group, but uh, you know, um, you know, they they are who they are. You know, they're they're just a extraordinarily uh, physical defensive unit and. Offensively, uh, they've always been good enough to, to you know, be efficient, and move the ball, and, and be successful. So, uh, when you're at this stage, and and what are they? Uh, you know, I guess they're 12 and one. Um, you know, they're they're you know everybody's really good. So I'm looking for that six and six team to sometime make the playoff, and then we can we can kind of ease ourselves in there. But that doesn't happen. So everybody's great. You mentioned the home team has been able to win the, the other two matchups. How important is it to have it here? I, I saw in the notes this will be the, the latest home game in, in Ferris history uh, on Saturday. Uh, I, I didn't know that, so you uh, you just told me a fact I didn't know. But uh, it's awesome. First off, you know, we're out here in December, and and our guys love, you know, love the opportunity to still be out here. You know, we're the only team probably in the state of Michigan practicing out, outside today because uh, – I think it's just us in Central Michigan that are playing this weekend, and I'm sure Central Michigan's getting ready for the Toasty Ford Field game. So uh, we've been outside all week, and uh, so you know, for for us, we just take that as as kind of a compliment, um, a pat on the back. You know, we've earned ourselves this opportunity to be outside and and play hard and 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 defend the home turf. And yeah, we're excited about that. Uh, assessing your own guys, uh, how have you think? Uh, they've performed these first two weeks of the playoffs. Uh, you, you kind of talked about the, you know, the that added rest factor at the end of the regular season, leading up to the uh, postseason. Yeah, I think you know, I think we've played uh, well. Um, you look back at, you know, our, our last few performances, and uh, we've been able to run the ball effectively, and that's really critically important. Um, it's going to be a challenge. You know, that's strength versus strength. Us having the capacity to run the ball and uh, their defense being stingy with with giving up the run. So. Um, so that's strength versus strength, but um, you know that's kind of how we've hung our hat. And then defensively, I mean, what do you say? I mean, we we gave you know gave up ten points to the number one offense in the nation last week. So uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, I sit here and assess, and everybody's like, "Well, how are you going to do what you did last year?" I don't care one bit about what happened last year. I'm so proud of the way our guys have. have uh, dealt with some of the adversity this year and challenges and injuries and things of that sort. They've just been champions every day, and so it's been a blessing to be around these guys.
is it fair to say that you think this uh, defensive matchup might be the toughest one you guys have, have seen this year or, or up there amongst the, the toughest matchups you've seen this year? Yeah, if you're, you know, if you're playing Northwest Missouri State, I think anybody in the nation would say, um, you know, that's a premier defense. So it's going to be as tough as, as it's ever been um, this year. And, you know, it's been that way every year against them. Last thing I can kind of think of, what do you, what's the message to the guys this week? Do you, do you talk to them about the challenge of this defense, or do you talk to them about, you know, it's, you're only a few steps away from, from your goals uh, for this season? No, they're smart guys. They know all of those details. So uh, they know how physical Northwest Missouri State is. They know what's at stake. They know they got to bring their best. And, uh, you know, there's no failure uh, when you bring your best. And so we're not afraid to uh, – you know, approach this game with a lot of energy and effort and desire. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're just going to bring the best uh, version of Ferris State football that we can and, and let, you know, let the chips fall as they may. But uh, I'm, I'm very confident that we are going to come with a lot of energy and effort to, to play our best on Saturday. Thanks, Coach. All right. Uh, 48 hours away from, from Northwest Missouri State. Uh, what have you seen from them on tape? What, do you, what are you guys kind of preparing for on Saturday? Um, it's a big defensive front physical probably the biggest we've seen all year um so i mean it's just one of those games where whoever can you know play harder than the person across from them they're going to come out on top do you remember much from, from the matchup last year uh, what was that game like um well they got the two interior defensive linemen returning um and they're really big really physical so from last year we just know that we had to play harder than them um, and by the fourth quarter, we had more energy in the tank that they did. So it's kind of another another year like that where we just got to grind them down. And in the fourth quarter, whoever you know has been prepared the best and uh, can finish the game, that's going to be who's on top at the end of the game. Uh, along the lines of having more energy at the end, how, how much does it help to, to play it on your home turf and in front of your home fans, uh, get a good night's sleep in, in your own place right, the yeah. night before? Is that a, is that a big uh, key? That helps a lot. And last year it was a little different because we were traveling the – the last three weeks of the playoffs so having the the, the regional final here at home um, it's nice just to take care of our schoolwork um, get the things done we need to get done and, and just focus on us as opposed to focus on all the travel that goes into you know going cross country basically um, coach was talking about the the strength of their defense uh, what, what did you see from them uh, what what do you think is going to be the the, the biggest uh, I guess point of emphasis for you guys on Saturday? Yeah, I would say even the strength of their team is the defensive line. I mean, the four guys that they got, they just bring it every play. Um, they don't give up. Uh, they have a high motor, then they're really physical. So the most physical bunch, we, I would say, we've seen all year. Um, so just prepared to, you know, try and go smack them in the mouth first, um, get underneath them and move them off the ball before they have a chance to move us off the ball. I'd say that's the battle is going to be won right there in the trenches, and whoever can dominate the line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively, that's who's going to win the football game on Saturday. Yeah, as strong as their defense is, you guys have a, a pretty stout defense as well. Um, you get to see them every every day in practice. Right. So what do you see with this uh, defensive group that you guys it's, have this year? I mean, it's awesome. It just it gives us an opportunity, uh, just kind of not necessarily relax, but you know, there's not as much pressure on us to score every drive. I mean, if you know, we go three and out or we have to punt the ball away. We have a lot of confidence in our defense that they're just going to come back and make another big stop and another turnover to give us the momentum back. So, I mean, it's nice to have the best defense in the country and on our team and on the other side of the ball. And even seeing them every day in practice, that prepares us for a good defensive line like we're going to face this weekend. Is it fair to say you see some of your toughest challenges in practice then, if you're saying the best defense in the country here? Absolutely. I mean, Austin Edwards, the, the Gene Upshaw, I mean, that right there says he's the best lineman in the whole country. So, I mean, seeing him every day in practice. Then you got Jordan Jones. I mean, Luke Gorniak, they all go really hard in practice, and, and seeing them every day prepares you for good opponents on Saturdays. Do you think at all about the fact of where you guys are right now, one of the final eight teams in the country? Does that creep into your thoughts at all, or is this just the, the next game on the schedule? Yeah, it's just Northwest Missouri State. That's really all we're thinking about. Um, we're not thinking about Texas. We're not thinking about the semifinals. It's just Saturday, December 7th. So that's what we're focused on right now.